hi guys on this video i'll be showing you how to switch on and off a, an led from the esp module uh, using your smartphone because esp it has two capabilities wi-fi module and bluetooth module so on this video i'm going to show you how to use bluetooth module so the first thing that we need to do we need to have a code for the hardware or the esp so as you can see here the first thing that you need to do is to have a library a bluetooth serial library then after that you include uh, you create an instance of the bluetooth uh, serial class bluetooth serial then for this part you can give it any name you want you can say my bluetooth or serial bluetooth which is a class so then for this one you can use um, for this one i recommend you to use uh, 11 5 200 this is is to initialize the serial communication with a baud rate of 1 1 5 200 then this one you create a name any name it's fine the bluetooth uh, device name so for example so when you switch off the bluetooth on your phone and your esp is on uh, but after downloading this after installing uploading this code then you will see this name on your bluetooth okay and what we're going to do we're going to switch on an led which is attached to the esp which is connected to pin number two and it's a, it is our output then we go to our main code so for this part uh, is to check if there is any data available on the serial monitor for this part then for this one uh, is to read a character from the serial monitor and send it over the bluetooth so we're going to give it some time a little bit of delay because when you uh, dealing with communication you need to put at least a delay to give it a little bit of time or else you will get uh, errors sometimes you will get errors so we're going to send two characters the first character is the a then the second character is b so the character a is for switching the the led off uh, and the led on as you can see if serial bt dot read so meaning if the serial this receive a character a then it will switch on the led on the esp then for this one if it receives a b character then it will switch it off so then we have a code for our smartphone so which i use an mit inventor so this is a design this is a design for 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 the code this is a design then when you go to the blocks then you will see here when on uh when you send uh when you press the the, the on so it will send the character a to the hardware then the hardware it will be on then when you for off so it means you're going to press the button for off it will send a character b on the bluetooth then it will switch off uh, the, the, the it will switch off the esp module so this one of the list picker this part is whereby uh, uh, for this part is to connect and disconnect uh, the bluetooth the bluetooth module so guys if you want this code then check my uh, description uh, section then i'll leave the link below check the link below to download the, the two code for the hardware and the software so let's go back to the hardware so for this one after that you're going to uh, upload so but before you upload you need to first check if uh, the, the, the the bot is correct so esp then you go to esp df mo, uh, module then after that you go to tools again then you check on com 23 so the high normally it will it will be the highest serial port so 
I choose 23 so as you can see down there it's uh, connected and the other thing that you need to make sure sometimes it will show unknown uh, so you need to ch uh, connect the correct board for that part so as soon as you connect uh, the ESP module board then make sure you see ESP32 dev module board so for example if I are using Arduino Uno you will see Arduino Uno here but in order for you to do that you need to go to board then for Arduino Uno then you will choose this one but since we are we are doing a tutorial using e for ESP so you're gonna say ESP and you say ESP dev module board and after that you upload your code okay guys when it's done let's check if we can control our ESP using our smartphone yeah guys after programming it uh, then we have an app on the phone so you can see I'm just gonna connect now it's connected so you see the app on the phone there is the ASP then I'm just gonna press on then here's the LED I'm gonna press off just press. there's something wrong with the with the interval but uh, please let me know on the comment what must I do in order for it to respond quick because I didn't I never have a problem with a uh, with a uh, Bluetooth module but since this ESP has uh, Bluetooth capabilities so that's why I didn't connect a Bluetooth module so I just me switch it on switch it off okay guys that's it for this video thanks for watching see you on the next one yeah guys after programming it uh, then we have an app on the phone so you can see I'm just gonna connect now it's connected so you see the app on the phone there is the ASP then I'm just gonna press on then here's the LED I'm gonna press off yes. There's something wrong with the with the interval but uh, please let me know on the comment what must I do in order for it to respond quick because I didn't I never have a problem with the uh, with a uh, Bluetooth module but since this ESP has uh, Bluetooth capabilities so that's why I didn't connect a Bluetooth module so I just me switch it on switch it off okay guys that's it for this video thanks for watching see you on the next one